truth about politics is, it's about showing up. Remember the Mansion Toomey Amendment? Well, a national poll at that time found that 88% of people supported universal background checks, and yet Mansion's office maintains that of the calls it received, they ran 200 to 1 in opposition to the bill. And that is why it is important to actually call your congressman. You can't just hit them up on Twitter or Facebook because you won't get a personal response, or even worse, you'll get a very personal response <laughs> indeed. Put it away, Carlos. Put it away. <laughs> and, and remember, remember the Dickey Amendment? Which has effectively kept the CDC from studying gun violence? It is now opposed by both the American Medical Association and Jay Dickey, the man who sponsored it in the first place. And yet, whenever a member of Congress tries to kill it, as Nita Lowy did last summer, this is how it goes. Let's support research to prevent gun violence, protect our communities, and save lives. Thank you. The question is on the Lowy Amendment. All in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed say no. No. The no seem to have it. The amendment's not agreed to. <laughs> it's, it's like watching a committee of deer voting against investigating the effects of oncoming cars. Let's stand still, unlike our chances. And those headlights are shiny. <laughs> and if you're thinking, well, I'm sure after Orlando, if someone tries that, they'll succeed, because we're all paying attention now. Well, here's the thing about that. Representative Tony Cardenas tried to overturn it again just this Wednesday with an amendment to a mental health bill, and this was the result. All those in favor will say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. 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 Opinion of the chair, the no's have it. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> that happened four days ago, and I'm guessing that you're hearing about it for the first time now. To be honest, we felt only found out about it yesterday, and we've been working on this story all week. And look, the Dickey Amendment is emblematic of a chokehold the NRA has over even basic gun data, and it should obviously be overturned. But the hard truth is, NRA members seem to care more consistently about preventing gun control than most of us do about passing it. Because while you might be focused on gun control right now, they were focused on it two weeks before Orlando, and they'll still be focused on it two weeks from now. So this is where I would usually say, call your senator and representative and tell them you want to repeal the Dickey Amendment. And you should absolutely do that, if you want to. But you are going to need to do more than that. You're going to need to call them again and remind them to repeal it. Then call them on their birthday and say, happy birthday, and also get rid of the Dickey Amendment. <laughs> call them on Arbor Day and say, happy Arbor Day, whatever that is, by the way, what's going on with that Dickey Amendment? <laughs> call them on days where there wasn't a mass shooting, and I know those days are getting fewer and farther between, and say, hey, it's me again, what the fuck's up with the Dickey Amendment? <laughs> because repealing it is not asking much. It's not gun control. It's enabling us to have an informed conversation about what that could look like. And if and when a proposal you like is on the table, you're going to have to make all those calls again. Because remember, it doesn't take much to outnumber the NRA. Planet Fitness members <laughs> outnumber them. But it is time for us to learn what those members haven't. If you want to see serious changes, you actually have to show up every fucking day. <laughs> and now, this. And now.